dear students welcome to practical biochemistry the topic is colorimetry colorimetry it means the measurement of colors techniques used to measure the concentration of substance that are colored or that can be converted to colored compounds by suitable reactions it's a very sensitive method and it requires small quantity of the sample the principle of colorimetry when a monochromic light a light of specific wavelength falls on colored solution a proportion of incident light is absorbed by the colored solution and remaining light is transmitted for example here is a colored solution all right the incident light that means the light that is entering inside the solution and the light that is absorbed by the solution that is the absorbent light that is coming out from the solution that is transmitted the amount of transmitted light depend upon the concentration of the color in the solution which depends on the concentration of color producing substances transmittance that means the light that is emerging from the solution and absorbance the specific wavelength light absorbed by the solution the light that is entering the solution that is the incident light the light that is absorbed by the solution that is the absorbent and the light that is emerging out of the solution that is the transmittance all photometric instruments convert transmittance into absorbance a absorbance is also called optical density or od specifically this colorimetry measurements we will get that considered as od because it gives us the absorbance colorimetry based on beer's law and lambert's law what is beer's law when a beam of monochromic light is passed through a solution the absorbent of the solution is directly proportional to the concentration of the substance in the solution so absorbent of the solution is directly proportional to the concentration of substance in the solution the lambert's law absorbance a is directly proportional to the path length of light which is width of the solution so absorbent a is directly proportional to the path length of the light which is the width of the solution so that is lambert's law and here the colorimetry uses b lambert's law this colorimetric calculations is based on comparison of absorbance of two solutions one standard whose concentration is known and the other unknown whose concentration is to be determined routinely concentration of the unknown is calculated by comparing the absorbance of the solution of unknown substance with that of the solution of known concentration with the standard basically in the colorimetry we are using two solution one it is the standard and another one it is the test that test it is the sample solution and the standard that means the standard solution of the substance all right we are comparing the absorbance of both of this solution so here it's the device that is known as colorimeter components of the colorimeter it includes light source adjustable slit condensing lens filter cuvette photocell and output or measuring device all right the first one it is the light source light source a lamp provides light in visible region of the spectrum usually tungsten lamp is the source of the light second it is the adjustable slit the light that is emerging from the tungsten lamp is allowed to pass through a narrow adjustable slit the light that is coming from this lamp is allowed to pass through a narrow slit adjustable slit that is the condensing lens it provides the parallel beam of light so that is the condensing lens and it provides the parallel beam of light filter it's a color glass filter or dyed gelatin type of filter is present they absorb most of the light and permits light of the corresponding color only with sufficient narrow wavelength so here that is the filter that absorb most of the light of different wavelengths and permits light of corresponding color only with the sufficient narrow wavelength all right it provides the desirable monochromic light of single wavelength by filtering other wavelength 
द कलर ऑफ द फिल्टर इज कंप्लीमेंट्री टू द कलर ऑफ द सॉल्यूशन दिस अलाउज ओनली अप्रोप्रिएट वेव लेंथ ऑफ लाइट टू पास थ्रू द कलर सॉल्यूशन डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ फिल्टर और द कंप्लीमेंट्री फिल्टर वी आर यूजिंग फॉर द डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ कलर ऑफ द सॉल्यूशन इफ द कलर ऑफ द सॉल्यूशन इज ब्लू और ग्रीन then the filter is used red so accordingly the color of the solution we are using different filter complementary color filter and we are about to adjust the wavelength range now the cuvette can be square rectangle or circular with flat surface usually it is 1 cm in diameter and should be uniform in thickness as absorbance is measured cuvette must be optically transparent thoroughly clean stretchless and free from contamination so volume of the color solution taken in the cuvette should not be less than should not be less than 1 ml per 3 ml it is minimum volume specified for the particular event different type of cuvette we are using glass cuvette is specifically used for the visible range of the colorimetric measurements however quartz or fused silica cuvette is used in the uv range next component that is the photocell or the photosensitive detector photocell or phototube is used to convert transmitted light into electrical energy so here that is the incident light light that is absorbed by the solution that is the absorbance and the light that is emerging out from the solution that is the transmittance this transmittance come in contact with the photocell or the phototube and it is convert the light into the electrical energy photocell it's a metal plate is coated with the thin layer of photosensitive element such as selenium and this selenium is again coated with the transparent thin layer of a metal such as gold or copper so this element is activate when the light falls on the this photocell it emits electrons that is proportional to the amount of the light falling on it it converts light energy into the electrical energy as i just told you now the last it is the output or the measuring device the photo detector response can be measured by any one of the following readout devices it may be galvanometers emitters or recorders digital readouts the signal may be transmitted to the computer or the print out device so these are the components of the colorimeter it includes the light source adjustable slit condensing lens filter cuvette photocell or photosensitive detector output or measuring device now the solution preparation for the investigation here we have to prepare three solutions it required three solutions the first one it is the blank second one it is the standard and the third one it is the test so you have to take three test tubes and label b for blank test tube s for standard test tube and t for test test tube now what is the importance of blank it is prepared to delete the color due to reagents alternatively this blank solution is used to set the meter of the instrument to 100 percentage transmittance or zero absorbance because the blank usually colorless the value of the blank is subtracted from test and the standards the blank is prepared by using all reagents except biological material to be transmitted that means the blank having the all the reagents but not the test sample type of blank water blank that is used to adjust od optical density to the zero and transmittance to the 100 percentage and the reagent blank it is prepared by adding all reagents except the substance to be estimated that means reagent blank include all the reagents but not the test sample that we required to estimate now standard it is the solution of a known concentration of the substance in the pure form which is to be estimated as both concentration of od of the substance solution are known the concentration of the unknown can be calculated by using the formula so in the standard we are adding all the reagents plus standard solution now the test solution is prepared by treating specific volume of the test sample with the reagents as specific in the procedure so in the test we are adding all reagents plus test sample so these are the importance of three solutions blank standard and test and these three solutions are mandatory and must required for the colorimetry readings 
Now the formula for the calculation of the colorimetry is equal to OD of taste minus OD of blank divided by OD of standard minus OD of blank multiplied by concentration of the standard. So that is the formula for the calculation. Now what is the application of colorimeter or the technique colorimetry? It is widely used in laboratories for the estimation of various biochemical compounds in various biological samples like blood, plasma, serum, CSF, urine and other body fluids. Routinely estimated biochemical parameters by colorimeter are glucose, urea, creatine, uric acid, bilirubin, lipids, total protein and enzymes like AST, ALT, ALP, minerals like calcium, phosphorus etc. If you like this presentation, please try to share it with your friends, group, batch and colleagues. Thank you so much everyone.